Eleven secrets to get rid of smelly feet. Yeast infections and stress provoke increased sweating, which can cause bacteria growth and bad smells. Watch our new video to learn some brilliant tips on how to get rid of smelly feet once and for all. Also, you'll finally get to know how to make your favorite shoes as comfortable as possible. Tip number 11. Remove the breeding grounds for bacteria. Most bacteria that cause bad smells breed under the nails and in the toughened skin areas. Don't forget to cleanse your soles with pumice when washing your feet. Also, don't forget to look after your nails and cut them short. Tip number 10. Wipe your toes after washing. Podologists recommend not just wiping your feet after showering, but patting with a towel between your toes. Otherwise, the remaining moisture can cause a fungal infection. Tip number 9. Brew some tea for your feet. The tannins contained in tea leaves eradicate bacteria and reduce sweating. You can make such baths every day. Brew 3 teaspoons of tea in 4 cups of hot water. Add 8 cups of cold water. Then, put your feet in for 15 to 30 minutes. Tip number 8. Apple Cider Vinegar An apple cider vinegar poultice will also help dispose of foot odor. Mix 2 cups of vinegar with a cup of warm water. Soak a piece of gauze in the solution and apply to your feet for 20 minutes. Let the skin dry naturally. Tip number 7. Use aromatherapy oils. Lavender oil will be perfect. Apart from concealing the odor, it also has a bactericidal effect. You can massage your feet with four drops of oil or make a foot bath. For the bath, add two drops of oil into three to four cups of water. And soak your feet for 10 to 15 minutes in the solution. Tip number six, wash your socks inside out. This way they will be more cleaned of skin cells and bacteria. The socks should not be synthetic. Try to use only cotton ones. Tip number five, walk barefoot at home. Also, you should always take off the socks you wear outside. When you walk, your socks gather bacteria from the floor, which, getting into a moist environment, start breeding. Tip number four, use your antiperspirant on your feet too. Apply them in the evening after a shower to dry skin. Antiperspirants contain chemicals that help reduce sweating. Tip number three, consult a doctor. If your feet not only smell bad, but also start itching and peeling, go to the doctor. These may be symptoms of ringworm, an infection, or mycosis. It's a disease caused by parasitic fungi. Tip number two, disinfect your footwear. Here's what you should do. Thoroughly wash the outside. Soak the insoles and shoelaces in an antiseptic solution. Wipe the inside of the shoes with a cotton swab soaked in chlorhexidine. Finally, tip number one, keep your shoes dry. It's better to have two pairs of shoes for each season to wear them in turns. 
If you don't have a second pair and your shoes are wet, a good old method will help. Put some crumpled newspapers inside and they will absorb the moisture overnight. Or you can dry your shoes using an electric dryer. Also, to make your feet soft, don't forget to use olive oil. Olive oil intake, thanks to its monounsaturated fatty acids, benefits the liver and stomach. From outside, this nutritious oil improves the condition of the skin, hair and nails. It can be used both as a separate treatment and in combination with other beauty products. You will need 1 cup of olive oil 5 drops of lemon juice and iodized alcohol. Slightly heat the oil and add lemon juice. Soak your feet in the oil and hold them there for 10 to 15 minutes. Treat your feet with iodized alcohol and apply nurturing cream. After a soak, put on cotton socks for a better effect. Moreover, we've prepared five simple but ingenious tricks so your favorite shoes won't hurt you anymore. Number one, thick socks and heat. Put on a pair of thick socks and then your favorite shoes. Run the hair dryer over the tight parts of the shoe. Walk around in the shoes until they are completely cool and repeat the action if necessary. The material from which the shoes were made expands from the heat and it becomes more flexible and soft. Note that the trick works only on natural material, such as leather. Number 2. Ice Fill a plastic bag with water and put it inside your shoes. Place them in the freezer and freeze them overnight. When you take them out in the morning, you'll notice that your shoes became wider as the water turned into ice. Number 3. Potatoes This trick can widen your new training shoes and even loafers. Push a fresh potato inside the shoe and leave it overnight. Usually, potatoes don't leave any smell, but just to be sure you have no potato remains in your shoes, wipe them with a damp cloth. Number 4. Moisturizing Cream This method works only on genuine leather shoes. Apply some moisturizing cream inside the shoe, paying attention to the heel and toe areas. The moisturizer will soften the leather and as you wear the shoes the next day, your feet will slightly reshape them. Number 5. Alcohol in Paper Spray enough alcohol on the tight areas from inside the shoes so they are wet. Stuff the shoes with crumpled paper overnight. The more paper you use, the better results you'll get. Remove the paper in the morning and put the shoes on so they can take the shape of your feet. 